Good evening, Pax Christi. Uh, fathers, allow me to take a few minutes to uh, share some information with you. I wanted to encourage everyone, if you've not already purchased your ticket for the comedy event that's coming up, I would encourage you to do so. Uh, this benefits the NCYC scholarship fund in the parish. Parish has always had a history of sending a delegation to NCYC, the National Catholic Youth Conference in Indianapolis, where we celebrate with 33,000 other young Catholics uh, our faith. And so we will continue to send a delegation, and that will we'll take a delegation this year. So 100% of the proceeds of this event go to that scholarship. Our comedian, Sean Reynolds, is donating his time or donating his fee that he would normally charge for an event. Uh, he's not charging us so that everything that we take in for that can go. Uh, so it's October the 12th from 7.30 to 8.30. There is from 7 o'clock to 7.30 cocktails and hors d'oeuvres. So that's included with a ticket purchase. Um, there's a couple of ways you can purchase a ticket. Uh, that is scan the QR, QR code on the banner that's in the gathering space or any of the, the yard signs. Uh, you can see me after Mass. I'm going to be selling tickets. We'll sell ma tickets after each of the Masses for the next several weeks. Uh, we're hoping for this to be a sellout. He was here last year. Uh, we had a good crowd. Everybody enjoyed themselves, so I would encourage you to do that. It's for a good cause, and you're also going to get some laughter out of it, so you'll get something as well as the kids that we're sending to NCYC. So I thank you for your continued support of the parish. Father Heeman also asked if I could make an announcement, or I asked him if I could make an announcement. Uh, you've heard about the synodical that is starting in the first. There's a synodical that I'm sure you heard about. Can you hear me? That uh, starts the 1st of October. And uh, the church throughout the world has been invited to gather in prayer before the beginning of the Senate on synodical. Synod synodical. Uh, Pope Francis has called us all together on September 30th. Bishop John is inviting all people of God here in the state of Kentucky to join him at the Cathedral of Christ the King next Saturday, September 30th at 7 p.m. The Women's Spirituality Group, rather than meeting the first Monday in October, will be joining together at this, uh, this prayer service. I hope you join Bishop John in this prayer. Good evening and welcome let me add our welcome to the Pax Christi Catholic Church on the 25th, celebrating the 25th Sunday of In Ordinary Time. We who labor in God's vineyard gather to give thanks and praise. Please stand and greet your neighbor. Please join in singing our opening hymn, number 207, Praise to the Lord. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Good evening, everyone. Amen. This was not part of a heme and hokey homily helper. I just left it on the altar because they distracted me over there. <laughs> 
Let's pause just for a moment and tell Christ we're sorry for our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest and on earth. God, who founded all the commands on your sacred law upon love of you and our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts, we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call him while he is near. Let the scoundrel forsake his way and the wicked his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord for mercy. To our God who is generous and forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so high are my ways above your ways and my thoughts above your thoughts. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Every day will I 
bless you and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. The Lord is here to all who call upon him. The Lord is gracious and merciful slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, Christ will be magnified in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me, life is Christ, and death is gain. If I go on living in the flesh, that means fruitful labor for me, and I do not know which I shall choose. I am caught between the two. I long to depart this life and be with Christ, for that is far better. Yet that I remain in the flesh is more necessary for your benefit. Only conduct yourselves in a way worthy of the gospel of Christ. The word of the Lord. According to Matthew. Lord, Jesus told his disciples this parable The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out at dawn to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with them for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. Going out about nine o'clock, the landover, landowners saw others standing idle in the marketplace. And he said to them, you too go into my vineyard and I will give you what is just. So they went off. And when he went out again around noon and around three o'clock and did likewise, going out about five, the landowner found others standing around and said to them, why do you stand here idle all day? They answered, because no one has hired us. He said to them, you too go into my vineyard. When it was evening, the owner of the vineyard said to his foreman, summon the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and ending with the first. When those who had started about five o'clock came, 
each received the usual daily wage. So when the first came, they thought that they would receive more, but each of them also got the usual wage. And on receiving it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, these one, last ones worked only one hour, and you have made them equal to us who bore the day's burden in the heat. He said to them in reply, my friend, I'm not cheating you. Do you not, did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what is yours and go. What if I wish to give this last one the same as you? Or am I not free to do so, I wish, with my own money? Are you envious because I'm generous? Thus the last will be first, and the first will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. All that over a day's wage, that gospel. Many people hate this gospel. It's unfair. I don't like it. Some people don't even like the prodigal son gospel because it's really more about the father than the two sons. But I think this might be the all-time gospel that people just don't like because it's not fair. Hmm. A day's wage. What's a day's wage or at the time of Christ? You all know because it's real simple. It's a denarius, you know, like this. That's not a denarius, that's a silver dollar turning bad. That's another silver dollar, like a denarius. I don't know what this is worth because one is a 2000 three, and another one is a 1997. Whoa, that one might be worthwhile. But in those days, a denarius was a day's wage. It's a Roman coin. And these are silver, that's why they're turning black, because a denarius was silver. 3.8 grams of silver was a denarius. And that was the common daily wage. And, um, in a sense, if you, I think, interpret this story wrong, I think you can say it's not right. We have a lot of things that aren't right. You know, maybe this would not be right in, some, in the world's viewpoint. You know, what is right with this automobile strikes, the three large companies? They haven't got a raise in 10 years. And the bosses have been getting raises, not just by uh, 15 to $20 or $50 an hour, 40, you know, whatever. They have gotten raises of millions of dollars. How about that, folks? Is that, do they earn a day's wage? Or do they suck money out of the community and not fairly distribute it? I'm not going to talk about that, but as far as I just think it's interesting as far as we're still fighting over what's a day's wage and who get, should get it. Well, in this situation, um, the uh, land over, owner, what he, he did, uh, I think he's sort of interesting, especially toward the end, you know, when they come up and they, they know what they expect. And they know when they get heated up and angry about the landowner because I, I got screwed. I worked all through the heat. And these suckers are the crazy people. They, they didn't work. You know what? They were seeking a job all day. And nobody hired them. They were seeking a job all day. And they had families. And they had responsibilities. And they had children, and they had to buy things. They were seeking a job to get a day's pay. Hmm. And maybe, just maybe, that landowner, you know, had pity. Said, you two go into my vineyard and work. 
I'll give you a just wage. Well, by golly, for one hour, for one day's pay, that's more than a judge just wage. It is a just wage. It's more than a just wage. But that's, that's the story, not an ain't fair story. The story is the landowner is really not only just, but giver with sympathy and empathy and feeling as far as what the other people have. Because they were seeking the Lord, uh, not the Lord, but I mean they were seeking a job all day. You know how many people seek work, can't get work? And how long they keep seeking work without getting paid? It's tough. It's tough to get a good job, but not too tough today because almost anybody can get a job if they want it, I think, unless they're. But this landowner is like the prodigal father. This landowner is like God the Father. This landowner is like Jesus Christ, the Lord. And I just find that's what those two stories are all about. God, how good God the Father or Jesus, or just the word to use for God, is. Not, God is not just just, but he's merciful. He's not only just he'll give you the right amount, the denarius, but he'll give you a denarius if you only work one hour. Our God's always, always open to us. And that's unbelievable. The world doesn't think that way, does it? And so the automobile strike is different than this here. I mean, this is absolutely insane, insane, insane compared to the automobile strike when they're trying to strike for a, a just, a just wage. Hmm. So, and the Lord wants us to not only get a job and work for our family, with a just rate of pay. But the Lord wants us always to seek him in the morning at five or at six or at nine or at noon or at five in the afternoon, like in the story. So the, the whole story is, is it's all about God. And we are supposed to seek God the way these workers sought work. That attache is not my prop. My prop tonight is you're singing a song. Get your missilets out and look at 666, number 666. And this number 666 is a takeoff on the first reading. Seek the Lord while he may be found. It's called Seek the Lord, isn't it? It is. Instead of our musicians lead us in song, please stand and we're gonna wrap up this short homily. Please stand, <laughs> sing two verses. Okay, and, and be, per right? Fa Father Heeman said, we're gonna sing refrain A followed by refrain B. I think that's right, so here we go. Each time, so two refrains, verse one, two refrains, verse two, etc.
Now, if you said that was a bad homily, you're condemning yourself. Please, please remain standing for the creed. I believe in one God. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified <clears throat> under Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life for the world to come. Amen. Let us pray. God's ways of justice and generosity exceed our standards, yet we can come to him in prayer, knowing he listens and that he will act. That the church leaders serve God with love and gratitude, and they be examples to others regarding how to live, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That lawmakers enact laws that benefit all workers in our country, ensuring everyone gets a fair living wage, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that all mankind find love in each other, for our God is a God of love for all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who gather at this table turn to God for mercy, because the Lord is near to all who call upon him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that those nations and peoples who have experienced any natural disasters turn to God as he is their savior and will answer their call. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the missionary spirit of the diocesan annual appeal continue to enliven our diocese with generosity, compassion, and concern for the common good. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those in our parish who need prayer and all who are suffering share the cross of Jesus and may also be anointed with his joy and grace, we especially pray for the eternal joy of Louis Mayfriff. We pray to the Lord. Lord Loving God, you are near to those who call upon you Welcome our prayers with generous care and show us once more your abundant compassion. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive with favor, O Lord, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. For you laid the foundations of the world. You have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed men and women into your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all that you have made and forever to praise you with your mighty works through Christ. So with the angels we praise you, and in joyful celebration we acclaim them. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Christ took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, 
John our Bishop, all the clergy, all the laity. Remember also all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and the apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen. Let's offer to one another some sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Have a good evening. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Please join us in singing our closing hymn, number 386, Go Out, Go Out. Don't literally do that just yet. Wait till we're done singing.
tell the good news, tell the good news.